I can't live this way anymore. These nightmares are unbearable. I don't know why I don't feel safe anywhere. I just stay inside. None of it makes sense. I have to try something else. Nothing has worked. My relationships are broken. Tell me what to do. I feel like I'm spinning out of control. These are the voices of post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. PTSD can develop after people live through or see something awful or very dangerous, which is known as trauma. When people experience trauma, they react pretty reasonably. They want to get away from the danger and not go back. Usually, once the danger passes, people readjust and start to feel better. But for some, the reaction sticks in place and they feel like they're unsafe all the time. That is PTSD. The good news is that PTSD can be treated. Prolonged exposure, or PE, is one type of therapy that works especially well. PE is evidence-based, which means it's been proven to be effective more often than other types of therapy. During PE, the person with PTSD tells the story of the trauma from memory. This can feel very upsetting in the beginning, but because the story is being told to a trusted therapist, it becomes easier over time. The person repeats the story and eventually the memory becomes less powerful. The incident never loses importance in someone's life. So it's not like someone gets over it or finally deals with it or forgets about it. But it becomes a memory rather than feeling like it's still happening. In another part of PE, People practice situations that feel dangerous, but probably aren't. Maybe this is a crowded restaurant or driving through a neighborhood. Maybe it's traffic during rush hour or making eye contact with others. Whatever people avoid because of how they feel, they practice facing as part of PE. This doesn't mean people enjoy driving in rush hour traffic or being in crowds, but those things no longer feel too dangerous to do. By retelling a difficult memory and practicing being in places that feel dangerous, people tend to readjust to their lives. They start to feel at home in the world again, rather than being on guard and reluctant to be around other people. Those who have been drinking or using substances to manage are often able to cut down their use. People start to go out, resuming their lives and relationships again. Sometimes this can happen really quickly, even after someone's experienced sexual assault, child abuse, combat, or other traumatic things. And prolonged exposure therapy doesn't take that long. It typically takes about three months of weekly appointments. Sometimes it can be done more quickly. And sometimes it might take a bit longer. But the bottom line is, it works. PTSD symptoms do not have to last a lifetime. People start to live again.